Today on A Comedy Good MTG, we're playing Menace V4, which is the fourth version of my Menace deck. It's a it's a original Dr. Yukon Suck It Jam deck. If this sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I am your host, and remember, you can trust me, I'm a trained professional. Dr. Yukon Socket! Yes, thank you! Long before a live studio audience, thank you so much, Yukon Socket! Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters, and I'm bringing to you Black Menace V4. V4. Yeah, so the deal was I thought, you know what I haven't played? I haven't played a Menace deck in a while. I'm going to put together another Menace deck. So I put one together yesterday, and it did all right. It did all right. It wasn't too good. I was getting like, I don't know, like like 55% with it, that kind of thing. So I took a look back at Menace V4. I pulled that out, and um, I said, you know what? I don't like this card, whatever it was. I got rid of it. I ended up slapping in. So I got rid of some cards. I snapped in Blood Letter of Alcatraz and the Hunter's Blowgun. Now I'll tell you what, those are the lessons I learned from my other deck I put together. Why why those cards? Number one, a Blood Letter of Alcatraz. Basically, he just gives all your dudes double, you know, like double strike, essentially. All you guys get double strike. And so all you guys have menace, except for this guy. He's got flying. But uh they have menace, which means their chances of being blocked are less. And this guy gives them double strike. Fantastic. Fantastic, right? What does Hunter's Blowgun do? Uh, when your guys attack, whoever's attacking it, it has Death Touch. And then when it's not, it's got Reach. And it's got plus one, plus, plus one. Which means that to be able to block them, they got to put two dudes in front of it. And he's doing at least two points of damage. Which means that he's doing Death Touch and two, which means he can kill both the guys being put up against it. So for every one of your guys that might end up dying, two of your opponent's guys will die for every Hunter's Blowgun that's being used. So anyways, I think this is going to be a fantastic card. I think it's going to work very well with Menace. And I think it's something that people aren't going to be able to hold up against very well. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the cards that are in this deck. We'll talk a little bit of what the deck should do, and then we'll go out and we'll crush some hopes and dreams. What do we got here? Well, we got um, a guy that has Hand Hate and Menace. We got uh, the best chump in the world because when he dies, he you get to scry and you get a treasure token. We already talked about what the blowgun does. Um, Arya's Orthrone comes out as a 2-2 with Minus. Every time you do damage to a player, she gets a popo counter on her and she can gain up to four until she stops gaining more. So she'd be a 6-6 eventually. So this one just keeps growing. This is great for your, uh, your, your money ball decks, right? Feature kill. This one has Menace and Lifelink as a two. And uh, I can do a little bit of surveilling, potentially. Bloodline Culling is a fantastic black card that's not used. This thing, you can't play it after another, whatever, like five or six weeks from now. Because, look, it's from the Werewolf set. But it's great at taking out tons of tokens or taking out creatures up to five for defense. Bloodletter basically gives all your dude double damage. Uh, Deadly Cover-Up wipes the board and allows you to rip into things you don't particularly care for. Phyrexian Flesh Gorger could be a 3-3 or 7-5. Either case, it has Menace or Lifelink. And its ward is that they have to pay life equal to its power to ward to get through the ward. That is devastating if it's a 7, right? Virtue of Persistence does negative 3, negative 3. gives you 2 life. And uh, also then if you can pay 7, you can start ripping creatures out of graveyards, putting it into your battlefield at the beginning of your upkeep. This guy puts out Mite Babies with Toxic, and this guy lets you take creatures out of your graveyard, put it back to your hand. That's it. What are we going to do with it then? Is that we're going to curve our way up. We're going to have a bunch of little menacey guys that people are going to have a hard time blocking. We got life gain. We got a lot of life gain in here, believe it or not. Um, that double strike doesn't count towards the life gain. You just gain whatever they normally do, but then they do twice the amount of damage. So it's black. What are you going to do? That's still awesome. And we're going to control the board by not allowing them to keep a lot of creatures out. That's it. That's the deck. 
let's go get crazy. But before we do, let's uh, do as we do every night. Let's say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Hands together. Dear Black King Toxrel, who dwells within the dark chambers of my heart, please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush your enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentations of the women. All right, we are playing against Airman Reed. Airman. What do we got? Kill, kill, kill. Kill the kill the kill. All right, let's shut up the horse before he gets an opportunity to whistle at it. All right, we got two mana. Hope to pick up a third here soon. Dead. Come on, third mana. Good enough. All right, so we got uh, three things to clear off what he puts out. can't pump it any more than that. You could protect it. He's just bringing it back. All right, good for you. That is not a creature token, so that means I'll have to do a negative five, negative five to it. How dare you touch me? Gone. I'll suck up some of your sweet life and inject it right into my main vein. As one does. That guy needs to be killed. I got things to kill him with. Right, let's put this out while we have the opportunity. I'm just going to kill it. All right, well, too bad. I was looking forward to growing that thing up. That thing is a five, which means bloodline culling is going to do very well. How long does this thing last for? Nothing. It's come staying out there forever, apparently. All right, he's at eight. All right, he's down to two. We. That's fine. No blocks. He needed to sit there and defend if he wanted to win, and that did not happen. And he wasn't winning, he was just not dying. Victory! All right, we were playing against... What's this? Create escape? Create escape? That sounds more likely. Keep. Ugh, oh, little naked man. I will conceal your curtains, is what I'm going to do. All right, two. What does this guy get? It doesn't really matter. He's a big Wissasaurus Rex. Uh, I'll put this out. That's fine. We got to wait till the next turn before we can pop it. For three, okay. Put out one of these. Deadly cover ups can do great against a bunch of zombies. We got to keep a flesh gorger back, though. 
This guy even playing zombies? That is not a very zombie-like deck to play. All right, we're gonna gain four every turn. There, we kill that thing. Unfortunately, it's gonna be dancing around. We got a plan for it. Yeah, all right, what you gonna do, man? Oh, another one, huh? All right, little green boy, you can shut up. Hmm, the question is, do I want to blow this taco stand or let him play just a little bit longer? We're going to kill these things as we can. Well, that's not good. Yeah, I was under the impression Virtue Persistence could kill anything. Apparently that's not the case. This guy's got zero creatures. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go full Monty here. All right, put him over for defense, which will give him a little reach action. He doesn't have death touch, though. All right, that one's gone. Man, this is just going back and forth with four points of life. You're going to take it, huh? All right, well, uh, let's get the guy out. How about that? And that's it. I guess we can't do anything. I was hoping on, I had to have two mana. That is not the case. All right, we'll wait until his turn is over. If he moves out another creature, it's better we need to nuke it. Right, let's kill it now. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the guy I need to kill. All right, here we go. Never to see again. Obliterator. Never, never, never. And we're done. Yeah, those little guys, I can make more of them. That's not a problem. There's seven. You know, oh, now I wish those obliterators were around. That would have been fantastic. What can I steal from you? I felt I just kind of sacrificed the wrong stuff. You want him gone, huh? You don't like that guy around. Alright, let's start dealing some damage here. Welcome back, my friend. It is so good to see you.
let's use this while we got it. Ah, we're rocking it hard. Look who we're going to have to bring back, though. He's back. He's almost like 17 again, right? I haven't been able to get this guy down from this for like a thousand years. Pile these guys out. All in. Get them. Alright, that's it. And we win. Suck it, sucker fish. Suck it. Alright, we're playing against Mintat 23. Look out, man. That hamster is trying to steal your gem. One black, huh? Need to pick up a second. All right, let's get out something with a little bit of a butt. I could about the, the greedy freebooter. He'd just be a chump. Trample wouldn't have helped too much here, regardless. Uh, other black. Let's go for your booter. And let's teach him. Well, I wish I needed two more mana for that. I could put it on the free booter. Still, it doesn't only really touch unless he gets blocked. He's not going to be much of a blocker. All right, what do I get? Come on, give me something good. A land, huh? Uh, I got lots of land. Hmm. All right, let's hope he doesn't have every... Oh, there's another creature. Pull another one. You can try to track you can try to attack their bra. We still haven't popped this guy yet? That's crazy. Virtuoso. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I don't have enough to throw him out. Okay. Uh, let's see. Two, two. Yeah, whatever, man. He's going to kill me next turn. Let's we'll just kill him. Okay. Can I do anything about this? There we go. Let's wipe the board. I guess I could have attacked. That would have been fun. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I could have kept the, get those two open for go over the throat. I like to be prepared, but uh, that did not happen. Nice. Get him. All right, so I do have the ability to virtue persist. Nothing. Let's put out a baby.
All right, we're loaded up for killing. Need another mana is what I really need. Down 10. All right, on his 10, I got to pop Murex again. Ooh, not good for you, baby. Ooh, I do have the seventh mana, though. I think I just killed him. There we go. Winner, winner! Victory dinner! Alright, we are playing against Half-Lived. You know, for them, for me, these guys being in here, they love to come out on the first turn. They love it. I got artifacts and creatures. Jews. I'll uh, point out go for the throat. All right, we're done. That was my thing I could do was the artifact. All right, come on, third mana. There we go, perfect, right on time. What are we getting rid of up here, Shouldred? All right, you got like murders and stuff. Or you can just take out a spy. I care more about you than anybody else. You're great. You're there for executing flesh gorger. I enjoy your hobbies of gorging on flesh. That's three life you're never going to get back. I'm coming after your hand next turn. Why don't you take out the big guy? Oh no, one point of damage. All right, it's down to five. We're grinding him down like crazy. And we're out of a guy. I need to keep a creature, man. That's my path forward here. All right, so I got Menace, which means you can't block me. Now you can, but you can't attack. Yeah, I don't need to lose my only guy. We'll slam one of those dudes out like crazy. Non-token. Oh. Dang it. I was hoping I'd be able to skeeter out with just getting that guy out of there. All right, here comes the block. All right, Deck, you got to provide me something better at this point. I don't think he's got creatures. So a nice creature kill would be really sweet right now. Damn block that way, man.
All right, there you go. You can try to block it. He's got menace. Block it. Block it. There you go. <laughs> you can't block it, man. He's got minutes. There we are. All right. He's got two life left. I got two dudes with minutes. Eh. He doesn't have a guy. He's only got. He needs two guys. Is his problem. I was really hoping. Second guy, I think I can get one of my guys through. There we go. Boom, boom, goes the room. I open against Krager. Owners of fine luxury grocery stores across the United States. Nope, no poop dragons. Come on, keep them asleep. Where's my concealing curtains, man? It was an opening hand. All right, so Frexing, Flesh Gorger this next turn. And then it's just kill, kill, kill. I can gain life from that. Hey, you shouldn't attack me on that one. All right, so we have four. Here's five. We need to get up to seven. Of course, there's nothing in graveyards to pull back. I'm just hoping. Yikes. I, mean, I can wipe him out. Is this an instant? Yeah. At some strategic point, I could do that. All right, there's six points of damage. Next turn, let's see, it's uh, five. I'll do 10 points. He's got to be peeing himself a little bit right now. He's going to take the five or the three. Okay. We're up to five mana. We need two more for Virtue of Persistence. All right, that's looking good. Down to four. I got lots of life. I don't need to Bloodlight and Coal is the problem. All right, you got a green mana. Good for you. Get your poop dragon over here sleeping. You know, I haven't fed Qbert in a while. Have some energon cubes there, Qbert. All right, he's dead next turn if he doesn't get something to block the blood letter of Alcatraz. Or if he can't kill it somehow. He's a long way from doing enough damage to me to win. Mm, I gave him treasure tokens. That's not great. That was a lot. That was the end of his turn. And I win.
And there we go. Winner, winner, victory dinner. All right, so here we are with uh, Menace V4. V4. And the big add-on, like I said before, was Blood Letter of Alcatraz. And I think it did a fantastic job. Yeah, that I think that uh, strategy of uh, pinning it together with dudes that were hard to, to block, uh, I think that did a great, great job. The other one I want to call out those Hunter's Blowgun. Uh, no one ever plays it, but I think with Menace, guys, it's a great thing. The reason why is because uh, as long as you're dealing, you know, you're going to be dealing with at least more than two points of damage. And so if someone tries to block you, they got to block with two dudes, which means if they're going to, they'll leave, they'll even lose at least two dudes to be able to block your one guy. And that is going to be very beneficial in the trade-off of things. All right, so yeah, I thought this deck did very well. We'll talk about how well it did in a second. Let's talk about who the MVP was. Who was the most valuable player? Um, okay, I'll tell you who I'm really liking today. I'm liking Concealing Curtains. He was fantastic. Uh, I liked Blood Letter of Alcatraz. I liked um, Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. But you know what? It's a Sanguine Spy. It's not that different than the Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. I mean, the deal is, it's like, it's sure it's a two and a three rather than a, rather than a three, three. But the cost is roughly the same. And you got a little bit there. Sanguine Spy is very much a Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. Just a shade worse, you know? So, um, yeah, they all did very, very well. Who am I going to give the MVP to, though? I'm going to say it's the Blood Litter. This is the guy that really ramped it up. He only cost four to put out. Reva Black, we're playing Mono Black. And uh, by bidding him out, he makes all your guys twice as strong as they would be normally. That's what's really good. The other card I really, really liked was Bloodline Calling. You never see this thing getting played, but it takes out a truckload of creature tokens. And that negative five, negative five for just one creature is fantastic too. I think this is a great card. But anyways, I'm going to give it to Blood Letter of Alcatraz. Altogether, this deck did so good, but I think you're the MVP. Congratulations, weird-looking moth of vampire demon. You are going to Disneyland. The children are going to love you. All right, so was this deck competitive? You betcha it was. I ended up uh, playing it eight times. I only lost one time. 88% win rate. 88%. Yeah, this deck has a great balance of creature kill, uh, evasion, and double damage. That's the that's the best part about it there. So all together, it was fantastic. 88%. I, I am just shocked by that. Um, so yeah, totally competitive. Was this deck fun? Absolutely. Why is that? Because we were able to get out early and we we're able to start attacking. I mean, sure, this guy comes out, he defends well. He really can't do much till three. But he could throw a hunter's blowgun on it. He has reach and one at that point. Um, Arya's Othsworn gets out there for pretty quick and can start ramping herself up. You got a nice curve as we go up there and, uh, everything starts to get really good. If you can start bringing the Fuck Scorger back from the, from the graveyard, man, he's big and strong. The ward makes people sacrifice so much life to try to get rid of it. So he's got such a bite no matter what happens to him. So yeah, this is a fun deck to play. It's got low end aggro. It is really cool. All right, so um, lastly, was this deck interesting? Yeah, it's because it's mono black, but it's a different mono black because it's so focused on the menace. It's menace tribals we got going on. And that's what made it interesting. And seeing the double damage, putting on creatures with evasion, giving yourself potentially a little bit of death touch, passing that around. Here you go, bud. I attacked last turn. You could defend with it. Of course, defense only gives it reach, but that's better than nothing. Altogether, this deck has everything you need to be able to win games, and that is important. But it's also a lot of fun. So, it is competitive. Yes. Is it fun? Yes. Is it interesting? Totes my goats. So, I'm going to give this an A+. And as I'm required by federal law to say, this deck is so choice. I would highly recommend you pick one up, should you have the means. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, 
Screw you guys. I'm going home. Bye.